God. He is great. He is mighty. He is all powerful. He is excellent. He is the ancient of days. Great and mighty is your name, O God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for you are our rock. Thank you for you are our strength. Thank you for you are our shield. You are our hiding place. Thank you for you are our hope. You are our defender. Thank you because you are God most high. Thank you for you are all powerful, all sufficient, King of kings and Lord of lords. We come before your presence and we say, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus. We come before your throne, Lord, and we say thank you because you are faithful, you are just, you are holy. Father, you are our deliverer. You are our protector. You are our restorer. You are our shield, the glory and the lift off our heads. We praise your name because you are mighty. We praise your name because you're lovely. We praise your name because great are you, God, and greatly to be praised. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we come before your presence today and we say thank you for honoring, Lord, and respecting marriages. We say thank you that, Lord, you will stand up and you will defend your interests in marriages in the name of Jesus. We say thank you because we can rely on you. We can depend on you. We know that you are God that will never fail, that will never disappoint in the name of Jesus. Father, receive our prayers in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, receive our worship in the mighty name of Jesus. Our way maker, our defender. We come before your throne and say thank you in the name of Jesus. Thank you for sparing our lives, oh God. Thank you for being the everlasting one. Thank you because you are our sufficient king of kings, the mighty man in battle. In the name of Jesus, we give you all the glory, God. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we trust you, O oh God, because you are our deliverer. You are our hope. You are our sustainer. In the name of Jesus, thank you because you are marvelous, mighty God. Thank you because you are our powerful Lord. In the name of Jesus, we give you a praise and we say, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory and we say, Lord, be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Ancient of days, we come to you and we say, thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I am that I am. We come before your throne and we say, magnify yourself, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Our hope, our protector, our restorer, our defender. We come before you and we say, thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for you are marvelous, Lord. Thank you for you are glorious in holiness and fearful in praises. Lord, you always do wonders, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You are merciful. You are righteous. You are the omnipotent one. The King of kings and the Lord of lords, we come before you, throne, and we say, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus. Thank you for waging war against marriage killers, Lord. Thank you that the destroyer of marriages will not stand in our homes and in our lives in the name of Jesus. Precious God, to you deserve the glory. Almighty God, you deserve the honor. You deserve the praise. We worship you, ancient of days. Thank you for hearing us, O oh God. Thank you for fighting our battles, Lord. Receive our prayers now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so God bless you, everyone, and welcome to this evening prayers. Today we are looking at marriage destroyers. Your time is up. And so I want to congratulate everyone that is here joining us um, for the past six days. And, and I just want to say God has been so faithful. And I just want to encourage you to continue press on, continue to pray for your foundation, continue to pray for your generation, continue to pray for your marriage. And I know God in his mercy will arise and he will fight for you and defend his interests in your lives. Amen. So I want to encourage everybody to take this opportunity to like the video, share with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And also hit that notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. Also, um, for those that are wondering, every time we meet, we read the Bible. To the glory of God, we're in the book of Judges. We're actually at Judges chapter 14. So we're going to take a look at Judges chapter 14 and also Judges chapter 15 this evening 
I'm using the Names of God Bible version. If you can't access the Names of God Bible version, just use whatever version of the Bible you have access to. Amen? All right, so let's just get started. We are going to start off by reading Judges chapter 14 and 15. And then from there, we're going to get into this marriage destroyers. Your time is up. And then we're going to definitely do prayers. Amen? So let's start with Judges chapter 14. When Samson went to Timnah, he saw a young Philistine woman. He went home and told his father and mother, I've seen a Philistine woman at Timnah. Now get her for me so that I can marry her. His father and mother asked him, are there any woman among our relatives or all our people? Do you have to marry a woman from those godless Philistines? But Samson told his father, get her for me. She's the one I want. His father and mother didn't know that Yahweh was behind this. Yahweh was looking for an opportunity to do something to the Philistines. At that time, the Philistines were ruling Israel. Samson went with his father and mother to Timnah. When they were coming to the vineyards of Timnah, a young roaring lion met Samson. The Rosh Yahweh came in with his bare hands. He tore the lion apart as if it were a young goat. He didn't tell his parent what he had done. Then he went to talk to the young woman. She was the one he wanted. Later, he went back to marry her. On his way, he left the road to look at the lion he had killed. He saw a swarm of bees and some honey in the lion's dead body. He scraped the honey into his hand and ate it as he walked along. When he came to his father and mother, he gave them some of the honey to eat. He didn't tell them he had scraped it out of the lion's dead body. After his father went to see the woman, Samson threw a party. This is what young men used to do. When her family saw him, they chose 30 of their friends to be with him. And Samson said to them, let me tell you a riddle. If you solve it during the seven days of the party, I'll give you 30 linen shirts and 30 chains of clothes. But if you can't solve it, you will give me the same things. They responded, tell us the riddle. Let us hear it. So Samson said to them, from the eater came something to eat. From the strong one came something sweet. For three days, they couldn't solve the riddle. For on the fourth day, they said to Samson's wife, trick your husband into solving the riddle for us. If you don't, we'll burn you and your family to death. Did the two of you invite us to make us poor? So Samson's wife cried on his shoulder. She said, you hate me. You don't really love me. You gave my friends a riddle and didn't tell me the answer. Samson replied, I haven't even told my father and my mother, so why should I tell you? But she cried on his shoulder for the rest of the seven days to the party. Of seven days of the party. Finally, on the seventh day, she he told her the, say, the answer because she made his life miserable. And she told her friends the answer to the riddle. So before sundown on the seventh day, the men of the city said to him, what is sweeter than honey? What is stronger than a lion? Samson replied, if you hadn't used my crow, my cow to plow, you wouldn't know my riddle now. When the Rosh Yahweh came over him, he went to Ashkelon and killed 30 men there. You took their clothes and gave them to the men who solved the riddle. He was angry and he went to his father's house. Samson's wife was given to his best man. Amen. So that was to see what happened there. Samson's wife was given to his best man. So let's see what Samson do after he, he made the right choice there. Let's see what happened with, as we go into this book of Judges. <laughs> let's look at chapter 15, Judges chapter 15. Later, during the wheat harvest, Samson went to visit his wife. He took a young goat along for her. He said, he said I'm going to sleep with my wife in her bedroom, but her father would not let me go will not let him go in. Her father said, I thought you hated her, so I gave her to your best man. Isn't her younger sister looking better looking? Marry her instead. Samson said to him, this time I won't be guilty when I get with the Philistines, even though I'm going to do something terrible to them. So Samson caught 300 foxes. 
He tied them together in pairs by their tails. Then he fastened a torch between their tails. He set the torches on fire and released the foxes in the Philistines' grain fields. So he set fire to all their grain, whether it was stacked or in the fields. Their olive orchard also caught on fire. Some Philistines asked, who did this? They were told Samson, he's, he's the son-in-law of the man at Timnah. Samson did it because the man at Timnah look, took Samson's wife and gave her to his best man. So the Philistine burned Samson's wife and her father to death. Samson said to him, if that's how you're going to act, I'll get even with you before I stop. So he attacked them violently and slaughtered them. Then he went to live in a cave in the cliff at Etam. The Philistine camped, the this Philistine came, camped in Judah and overrun Lehi. The men of Judah asked, why did you come to fight us? The Philistine answered, we've come to tie up Samson and do to him what he did to us. So 3,000 men from Judah went to the cave in the cliff of at Etam. They said to Samson, don't you know that the Philistine rule us? Why have you done so this to us? Samson replied, I did to them what they did to me. So the men from Judah told him, we've come to tie you up and hand you over to the Philistine. Samson said to them, swear to me that you won't harm me yourselves. They told him, we promise we'll only tie you up and hand you over to them. We certainly won't kill you. So they tied him up with two new ropes and brought him back from the cliff. When he came to Lehi, the Philistine met him with shouts of triumphs. But the rush Yahweh came over him. The ropes on his arms became like strings burned in fire, in a fire, and those on his hands snapped. Samson found the jawbone from a donkey that had just died. He picked it up and killed 1,000 men with it. Then Samson said, with a jawbone from a donkey, I've made two pals of them. With a jawbone from a donkey, I've killed a thousand men. When he finished saying this, he threw the jawbone away. He called that place Ramat Lehi, which is Jawbone Hill. Samson was very thirsty. So he called out to Yahweh and said, you have given me this great victory, but now I'll die from thirst and fall into the power of godless men. So Elohim split open a hollow place at Lehi and water gushed out. Samson drank some water. Then he was refreshed and revived. So he called that place En-Hakor, which is spring of the one who calls out. It is still there at Lehi today. Samson judged Israel for 20 years during his time, during the time of the Philistine. Amen. So that is... Um, Chapter 15 there, and the next time we'll meet, we will discuss more about Samson and Delilah um, and the Samson story. And Delilah is in my mind. You know, I've got to share a little story with you. So I, I was talking to a child. It's important to buy your children Bible. Are you those little children that are around you? Bibles. So I bought a child a Bible from that child was maybe about, probably about six or so. I bought a Bible and I told that child to read the Bible every day. And so, you know, children do listen when you talk to them as parents, especially when they respect you, you know, and when they love you too. So that child has been reading the Bible every single night before he goes to bed. And so the little boy, you know, I just said, like, you know, I want, I'm always the nosy one that wants to know everything that's going on in their life. I need to know what's their friends like, what are they doing in school, what they do outside of school. I just want to know everything. You know, as I'm nosy with them and I'm also protective, especially when it's people that is dear to me. All right. So I asked the child, I said, so what's your favorite story in the Bible now? He's like, you know what? I actually like the story of Samson and Delilah right now. I said, oh, nice. I said, so what do you like about the story of Samson and Delilah? He's like, I'll tell you a story. I'm like, okay, sure. Go ahead. The child said to me, there's a girl at school. Oh, actually, I asked him if he has a girlfriend at school. And he said, yes, but he broke up with her. That's, that's a 12-year-old. I said, so why did you break up with her? He said, and then they narrate the story of Samson and Delilah. He said that the girl wants to date him, but the girl is talking to so many guys in the school. And I'm like, what do you mean? Is it like she's like dating them too? He's like, no. 
it's like she's talking to them more than me. And um, she's just like so friendly with all of them. So, uh, you know, if she want to date me, I think she should be talking to me more. So I'm like, okay, you know, so, so I'm like, so, but what if she's just a friendly person? She's like, he's like, well, that's why I like the story of Samson and Delilah, because this woman is acting like Delilah, a 12 year old said that to me. So he's like, I don't want to be like Samson. So that's why I broke up with her. <laughs> that's what a 12 year old tell me. So it's important to read the Bible. So even though maybe the story doesn't make sense of the child, like relating it from the perspective of a child. But to me, I think that the child is slowly learning to discern good from evil, right from wrong. And, you know, maybe that's, that's not the best example, but I think it's also a fairly, fairly good example, you know, because a woman, if you're a man and a woman is running all over the place with man, if you're an adult, you're not talking about children now, you know that is problematic. So the child already recognized that, you know, he can't tie the woman down. You know, he can't stop her from having friends and he can't force her for attention. So therefore, the best thing is to do is to let her go. You know, so that's what I gained from it. So I thought it was so funny. I've been thinking about it for so long and it's just so happened we're in the book of Judges and I keep thinking about the whole Samson and Delilah ever since we started just because of that interaction with the child. So I pray that some of us will really learn as children because children see the truth for what it is. Amen. All right. So let's get back onto business today. We are looking at uh, marriage destroyers. Your time is up. Marriage destroyers, your time is up. That's what we are looking at today. And to the glory of God, we are going to definitely get into a whole lot of praying and we're going to trust God to do great things in our lives. So marriage destroyers, your time is up. That's what we're doing. So please take the opportunity to like the video, share with your friends, your family and loved ones, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. Okay, so let's get started. So Proverbs 18, 22, it says, whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtain that favor of the Lord. Amen? So the, the scripture says, who finds a wife, not who finds a woman. He said, who finds a wife? So there are, and the reason for that is because there are many women today that are not wives. And that's the truth. There's many, many women today that are not wives, you know? And so godly wives or godly husbands are blessings from the Lord. And marriage, as we know, is the first institution on earth. And marriage also is God's own idea and not man. And as the Bible said, two are better than one. So there is always one that lifts up when the other is down due to the fact that God is, it, it's, it's God's idea. It is God's idea. And it's a disaster to take God out of the matter. So anything that is God's idea, we can't take him out of it. All right. And so the institution or the instruction to keep and run the marriage must come from God. So the institution of marriage comes from, from God and the instruction to keep and run a marriage must come from God. Amen. So let's look at some facts about marriage. So there is need for consistent consultation from God about your marriage. So that's some facts about marriage right now. There is need for consistent consultation from God about your marriage. And also godly marriage and godly home does not happen by choice or by chance. It's by choice. Godly marriage and um, godly home does not happen by chance. It is by choice. Amen. Also, you need to work hard for your marriage to work. You need to work hard for your marriage to work. Don't be waiting until things are going somewhere and you start working for your marriage to work. You must always consistently work hard for your marriage to work, even when things are looking great. Okay? After salvation, I want to say this and I want you to listen well. You know, we give our life to Christ and we receive the gift of salvation because Jesus died on the cross for us. And it's so exciting because we get to enjoy the good benefits of being a Christian because of salvation. But after salvation, marriage is another great thing that can happen to man. That is the, that's a fact. And so marriage will complete you. Marriage will complement you. Marriage is not competition, but 
It's for complementing. Marriage is not a necessary evil. It is not a necessary evil. Marriage is not a padlock, but a, wed a wedlock. It's not a padlock. It's a wedlock. Marriage adds to you. It's supposed to add to you. Marriage is ordained for peace and joy and progress. Marriage is to help and to assist each other. And so when you find yourself in a marriage that you see that there's so much with misery, I got to tell you that is actually worse than hell itself. You like you live in hell on earth. So God usually give one, you know, the opposite of yourself so as to complement each other. So God give man to woman to complement each other. God give woman to man to complement each other. Okay, so let's look at some roles of the husband and the wife in marriage. Keep in mind, this list is not complete. I am only giving a few. I can't give all the roles of men and women in marriage in one sitting, praying over some issues. It's just some, okay? So roles of the husband and the wife in marriage. So there is a role for every man and woman in marriage to keep it healthy. So men responsibility. So when you talk about man, you know that a man is a prophet, Man are supposed to be a prophet of the home. And we hear that when you say the man is the priest or the prophet of the home. So Abraham had the responsibility to coordinate his family to God when he was also in charge. The man should not leave his responsibility in the hands of his wife. The wife should not be the spiritual head. She should not be the one praying or teaching the man the Bible. That's Bible, right? And so the man is supposed to be the priest of the home. Unfortunately, today, there are so many homes where some of the men, they don't even know God. They don't even have a relationship with God. So the wife have no choice but to take over the home because you can't let your children perish because your husband refused to be the prophet or the priest of the home. Amen? I pray for you that your husband, or if you're a husband and you're here, I pray that you will be a prophet for your family in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. So the next thing is that some facts about men and women role. A man is a provider. I know we live in a society where things change, but the man is supposed to be the provider. Okay. Let's look at Bible. First Timothy 5, 8. First Timothy 5, 8. But if any provide not for his own and especially for those of his own house, he had denied the faith and is worse than an infidel. Somebody needs to hear that. So man should not convert the wife to the prov provider. Man should not convert their wife to the provider. This is not biblical. It's in the scriptures. A man should provide shelter, clothing, food, in, illicit for their family. And so the reason is that man must not be comfortable sitting down and not want to do nothing, not even prayers for their family. So they need to pray for themselves out of poverty if that's an issue. And they need to pray to fulfill their purpose or if their purpose in life to God, you know, in order to be able to live in their destiny and to be able to provide for their family. And so when I say this, please don't go and tell your husband that I say now that they're supposed to be the provider. And so you stop doing everything in your life. You know that women work in this society. We work, the men work, but it shouldn't be the woman that sit there and say, I am going to be the one to provide for my family. And the husband is like, or oh, do all of that. And then, oh, you need an extra $50. I'll give it to you. No, it is the man that's supposed to be the head to do all those things. And the wife can compliment the man with what she has. That is what it's supposed to be. All right. But some people may disagree with me because, you know, in um, you know this society, some women, they take care of the men too. So that's what happened. You know, they buy their food, buy their clothes. They pay for even the strange woman. There is even some strange woman that is sponsoring the wife of the man. Low self-esteem woman. Okay, let me stop at these, these things right now and we focus on more things. So let's look at some of the women responsibilities. So we look at a few responsibility of the man. Um, and we said that, you know, the roles of the husband in the marriage is that the man is a prophet, he's a provider, and also he is a protector. Amen? So don't, the man is a protector. So don't allow any member of your family to disrespect your wife, disrespect your children. And also you're supposed to protect your family at all costs. So a man's supposed to be all three of that. Those are the three core, core, core ones. Being a prophet, a, prof, a priest, or a prophet or a priest. 
being a provider and also being a protector. And protector has a long list and that includes being um, not allowing people to disrespect your wife, not allowing your strange woman to come and disrespect your wife and also your children or your family in general. Some men will make even their in-laws treat their wife as if they're garbage. It's You don't do that. Amen? So let's stop right there when it comes down to the man. Let's look at some of the woman responsibility. So some of the responsibility of the woman, you know, roles of the, of the woman in the marriage. Let's look at them. So the woman is to... Honor and respect. That's one of the responsibilities of the woman in the mar in marriage. Honor and respect. So the honor you you don't give to your husband, um, you you must not give that to somebody else. So you must you must learn to honor and respect your husband. Honor and respect is your role. So the honor you don't give to your husband, you don't try to give that to somebody else. So how could you have your husband and you respect your, for example? Um, your neighbor more than your husband. You honor and respect your neighbor more than your husband. No, it's supposed to be the other way around. I'm not saying you should go and disrespect your neighbor now, but your husband's supposed to get ultimate honor and respect. Okay, so some people, as we said, as I was saying, they're good with, for example, their neighbors or maybe at work or their pastors. And this is a big one, the pastors. But when they get home, they treat their husband, they beat them up. They're violent to them. They're disrespectfully, verbally, and in every way. And um, they do so many things. You know, like I see, if you go to like certain type of churches where they prostrate for each other, I see some of the ladies will go and they prostrate for men, like their pastors in their church, call them daddy. It's like a God. And then when they go home to their husband, the husband tell them that you're hungry. Stupid man, why are you asking me for food? Don't you know where the kitchen is at? But then they were kneeling down on their knee for a pastor. Your husband is the priest of the house. Go kneel down for your husband first. All right? Okay. So one of the greatest things um, a wife can do for her husband, as we said, is to give him respect. Respect and honor him. Even the Bible said it. Wives, submit yourselves to your own husband as unto the Lord. Ephesians 5, 22. Submission, just to get that clear, is not humiliation. In the eyes of God, Weakness is strength. Very, very important for you to know. So commandments to, um, to man and woman in marriage is that thou shalt forgive thy spouse. We know that. The Bible says we should forgive 70 times 7 and more every day. So we should really forgive our spouse. Those are some commands. We should honor our father and our mother. You know, honor your in-laws. But don't um, allow them to control you. You know, you don't have to go through the level of control where they're treating you like a remote. You honor them and all of that. And also you should, don't have extra people in your marriage. Those are some commands. Don't have extra people. God created you, husband and wife. He never created you with husband, wife, and strange woman or strange man. So don't have other people in your marriage. And also don't let other people meddle in your marriage to destroy it. Okay? Some people, you know, like, their relationship is composed of their husband, but really instead they also have their father there and the father is serving as the husband, the decision maker in that marriage. So we got to be careful. We should also be careful not to speak evil of our spouse, but to love and respect this, our spouses all the time. It doesn't matter how things are seeming, pray for them when they're at their weak point, but love and respect them at all times. Um, thou shall not... Carry the trouble of yesterday to today and not carry the person's problems of today to tomorrow. So you don't need to learn to work out your issues with each other. Um, try to, you know, avoid arguments or discuss it. And again, come to agreements or with workable solution that you can work out your issues. And another thing that I always say, go on your knee and pray together over the problems and ask God to help you. And if you can't find somebody to talk to, go pay for a counselor to help you out. Amen? There are so many marriage, effective marriage counselors out there. You can reach out to them. Okay? Also, this is very, very important. Live within your financial means. Don't be um, trying to live like your Hollywood princess when your husband is making a minimum wage job. That is going to create a problem. If somebody is working a minimum wage job, it's impossible to buy Louis Vuitton bag. It's, it's not possible, you know, because by the time you start paying your bills, the money is over. 
So we have to be careful to live within our means. I'm not saying if you see sales, you can't buy them if you can't afford it, but don't expect the man to buy you a $10,000 bag when your budget is really $50. Be careful. All right? So try to keep your marriage, you know, as romantic as possible. You know, try to spice up your marriage. You know, um, go on dates. Do things with your spouse. Don't sit down and say, I'm already married to you, therefore we don't have to do nothing. Because that man will be bored. And also that woman will be bored. And next thing they start to see other people's life and think that it's so beautiful. And then they start to look outside to see if they can get that same treatment. So we have to be careful. All right? So don't use, and this is for a lot of women because they do that. And men also do it too. Don't use sex as a weapon of punishment. You know, don't use sex as a weapon of punishment. So because you're not happy about something about your husband... For example, if you're not comfortable that he's making enough money, um, don't be saying that I will never sleep with you because if I sleep with you, you won't be able to provide for me. So therefore, I'm not sleeping with you. I'm only sleeping with somebody that can provide. Be very careful of that. Don't do that. All right? So don't use sex as a weapon of punishment in your marriage. Okay? So keep your family altar on fire always. Always keep your family altar on fire. And how you do that, make sure you get your children into devotions, be prayerful, you know, do some Bible studies, all of those things. You know, there are some people that there's this one faith, um, I'm not going to say the name, but they do evangelism so much to the point that everybody in the world knows them. All right. They will come and knock your door all the time. If you know who they are, you can put it in the chat, but I'm not saying it. They are the number one for evangelism. But when it comes down to their family altar. They sit down and it's like religious for them to read the Bible. They indoctrinate their kids so much into their religious belief. They do all of those Bible studies every day. I'm not sure about the prior portion, but that's what they do. So as Christian, you know, I'm not saying that you should copy them, but the truth is that you should be doing them. It's not a copy. You're supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be doing Bible studies with your children every single day, even if it's just for 20 minutes, every day. You're supposed to be doing prayers with your children every day, even if it's just for 10 minutes. So we have to be very careful. So we're going to pray some prayers to confront marriage destroyers. We're going to tell these marriage destroyers that their time is up in our life and in our marriage. And we're going to pray and we're going to ask the Lord in his mercy to do great and mighty things in our lives. Amen. So we're going to look at some marriage scriptures just to confess them. And then we're going to pray for our marriages and we're going to send these marriage destroyers into their hiding places. Amen. So let's um, confess this one. Hebrews 13, 4. Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. But warmongers and adulterers, God will judge. Amen. Mark 10, 6 to 9. But at the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife. And the two will become one flesh. But they are no longer two but one. Therefore, what God has joined together, let, not, let man not separate. Amen. And 1 Corinthians 7, verse 3 to 5. It says, let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence. And likewise, also the wife unto the husband. The wife had not power of her own body, but the husband. And likewise, also the husband had not power of his own body, but the wife. Defraud he not one another, not one the other, except it be with consent for a time. That's the sexual portion. That he may give yourself to fasting and prayer. And come together again, that Satan tempt you not for your incontinency. Amen? And then we have the famous Ephesians 5, 21 to 25. Submit yourselves to one another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husband, love your wives. Amen? So husband is to be loving us, the wives. Sometimes I wonder why we fall in love when the Bible says the husband's supposed to love. 
No, God of will have mercy on us. Amen. All right. So let's get um, into these prayers right now. Let's just take the opportunity. Let's just begin to ask the Lord for mercy. God is a good God. He is faithful. He is just. He is our deliverer. He is our shield. He is our hiding place. We can call unto him at all times, knowing that he is our God. We know that the Lord will wage war for our marriage to the glory of his name in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Now, we just want to ask you for mercy, O oh God. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, in any way that we have sinned against you, in any way that we have offended you. Lord, anything that we have done to cause marriage, destroy us to creep in our marriages. Lord, my God, we ask you for mercy now in the name of Jesus. Have mercy upon us, O oh God, as we look to you, God, in the name of Jesus. Blot out our sins, O oh God. Wash us thoroughly from all sins and iniquities. Cleanse us, mighty God, from all unrighteousness. My Father, my God, create in us a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit in us. Do not cast us away from your presence, O oh God, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. My Father, my God, restore to me the joy of your salvation and renew a right spirit in me. My Father, my God, I ask you for mercy now in the name of Jesus. Let your mercy speak in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your mercy prevail, O God, in the name of Jesus. My Lord and my God, I ask you, my deliverer, my restorer, my protector, for mercy, O God, in the name of Jesus. Have mercy, ancient of days, in the name of Jesus. Great and mighty God, you are worthy, you are excellent, O God, in the name of Jesus. All sufficient one, we come before you, we ask you for mercy upon our marriage. Have mercy, O oh God, by your great mercy, God, in the name of Jesus. Set us free, Lord, by your power. Set us free by your grace, O oh God, as we cry out to you for mercy. In the name of Jesus. Oh, mighty God, we surrender to you for mercy now in the name of Jesus. Precious God, let your mercy speak. Let your mercy prevail in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, mighty God. We give you glory. We give you all the honor. As we cry out to you, O oh God, mighty Father, that the destroyer of our marriage, Lord, my, by your mercy, God, you have set us free from them in the name of Jesus. Father, let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy speak. Lord, to you deserve the glory. You deserve the honor. You deserve the praise. We worship you, almighty God. Thank you, ancient of days. Great and mighty God, we ask you for mercy now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, let your mercy prevail. Lord God, let your mercy speak. Lord, let your mercy manifest in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the praise. We come before you, almighty God, and we say thank you for being so merciful. Deliver our marriage from the hands of darkness by your mercy, oh God. Set us free by your mercy in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. Glorify yourself, almighty God. Thank you, Father, for you have done it, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right. So we're going to pray these marriage prayers now. We're going to pray that the marriage destroyer time will be up to the glory of God. So please take the opportunity to like the video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. Please remember to take out your prayer requests, your seeds, your offering, your tithes, whatever you have, your pictures, anything you're praying over and pray the prayers over them as you're praying. Let's pray these one. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers raging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Dire in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Dire in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Dire in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Dire 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Strong man. Standing on my marital breakthrough. Perish and be broken to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Strong man. Standing on my marital breakthroughs. Perish and be broken to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Strong man. Standing on my marital breakthrough. Perish and be broken to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Strong man. Standing on my marital breakthroughs. Perish and be broken to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Strong man. Standing on my marital breakthroughs. Perish and be broken to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Stand ma strong man. Standing on my marital breakthroughs. Perish and be broken to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Strong man. Standing on my marital breakthroughs. Perish and be broken into pieces. In the name of Jesus. Strong man, standing on my marital breakthroughs, perish and be broken into pieces. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anything planted in my life to frustrate my marriage, come out now. In the name of Jesus, anything planted in my life to frustrate my marriage, come out now. In the name of Jesus, Anything planted in my life to frustrate my marriage, come out now. In the name of Jesus, anything planted in my life to frustrate my marriage, come out now. In the name of Jesus, anything planted in my life to frustrate my marriage, come out. In the name of Jesus, anything planted in my life to frustrate my marital life, come out now. In the name of Jesus, Anything planted in my life to frustrate my marital life, come out now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every spiritual marriage contesting for my physical marriage, die in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual marriage contesting for my physical marriage, die in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual marriage contesting for my physical marriage, die in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual marriage contesting for my physical marriage, die in the name of Jesus. Every spiritual marriage contesting for my physical marriage, die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I paralyze. Every architect of conflict and hostility in my home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every architect of conflict and hostility in my home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every architect of conflict and hostility in my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, I paralyze every architect of conflict and hostility. In my home and my marriage, in the name of Jesus, I paralyze every architect of conflict and hostility. In my home and my marriage, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Who is the enemy that says I will not get married? Dry up and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, who is the enemy that say I will not get married? Dry up and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, who is the enemy that say I will not get married? Dry up and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, who is the enemy that say I will not get married? Dry up and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, who is the enemy that say I will not get married? Dry up and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, who is the enemy that says I will not get married? Dry up and burn to ashes. In the name of Jesus, who is the enemy that says I will not get married? Dry up and burn to ashes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Spirit of God, you are my helper. Locate my God-chosen husband. And glue him to me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God. You are my helper. 
locate my God chosen husband and glue him to me by fire in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of God, you are my helper. Locate my God chosen husband and glue him to me by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every spirit of man I have ever jilted in my life. Release me by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of man I have ever jilted in my life. Release me by fire. In the name of Jesus, every spirit of man I have jilted in my life. Release me by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I withdraw my marriage from the hands of evil designers. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw my marriage from the hands of evil designers. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw my marriage from the hands of evil designers. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw my marriage from the hands of evil designers. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw my marriage from the hands of evil designers. In the name of Jesus, I withdraw my marriage from the hands of evil designers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every household enemy controlling my home and marriage be disgraced by fire. In the name of Jesus, every household enemy controlling my home and my marriage be disgraced by fire. In the name of Jesus, Every household enemy controlling my home and my marriage be disgraced by fire in the name of Jesus. Every household enemy controlling my home and my marriage be disgraced by fire in the name of Jesus. Every household enemy controlling my home and my marriage be disgraced by fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I spoil and destabilize. Every satanic plan against my marriage and my home. In the name of Jesus, I spoil and I destabilize every satanic plan against my marriage and my home. In the name of Jesus, I spoil and I destabilize every satanic plan against my marriage and my home. In the name of Jesus, I spoil and I destabilize every satanic plan against my marriage and my home. In the name of Jesus, I spoil and destabilize every satanic plan against my marriage and my home. In the name of Jesus, I spoil and destabilize every satanic plan against my marriage and my home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every power trying to redraw my home and marriage map be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Every power trying to redraw my home and marriage map be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Every power trying to redraw my home and marriage map be put to shame in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every demonic bird eating away my love from the heart of my husband, vomited by fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic bird eating away my love from the heart of my husband, vomited by fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic bird eating away my love from the heart of my husband, vomited by fire. In the name of Jesus, every demonic bird eating away my love from the heart of my husband, vomited by fire. In the name of Jesus, every demonic bird eating away my love from the heart of my husband, vomited by fire. In the name of Jesus, every demonic bird eating away my love from the heart of my husband, vomited by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, my Father, render to naught every counsel assigned against my home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, render to naught 
every evil counsel assigned against my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my Father, render to naught every evil counsel assigned against my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my Father, render to naught every evil counsel assigned against my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my Father, render to naught every evil counsel assigned against my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my Father, render to naught every evil counsel assigned against my home and my marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every evil external interference in my home and marriage be computed completely neutralized. In the name of Jesus, every evil external interference in my home and my marriage be completely neutralized. In the name of Jesus, every evil internal interference in my home and my marriage be completely neutralized in the name of Jesus. Every evil external interference in my home and my marriage be completely neutralized in the name of Jesus. Every evil in external interference in my home and my marriage be completely neutralized in the name of Jesus. Every evil external interference in my home and my marriage be completely neutralized in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, deliver my home and marriage from the hands of demons, of marriage breakers. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, deliver my home and marriage from the hands of demons and marriage breakers. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, deliver my home and marriage from the hands of demons and marriage breakers. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, deliver my home and marriage from the hands of demons and marriage breakers in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, deliver my home and marriage from the hands of demons and marriage breakers in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, deliver my home and marriage from the hands of demons and marriage breakers in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my father, deliver my home and my marriage from the hands of demons and marriage breakers. In the name of Jesus, my Father, my God, deliver my home and my marriage, Lord, from the hands of demons and marriage breakers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every spirit of hatred and malice working against my home and marriage be destroyed by fire. In the name of Jesus, Every spirit of hatred and malice working against my home and marriage be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of hatred and malice working against my home and marriage be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of hatred and malice working against my home and my marriage be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of hatred and malice working against my home and marriage be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of hatred and malice working against my home and my marriage be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of hatred and malice working against my home and my marriage be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, my Father, break the evil power of manipulation working against my marriage. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, break the evil power of manipulation working against my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, break the evil power of manipulation working against my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Oh Lord, my Father, break the evil power of manipulation working against my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, break the evil power of manipulation working against my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Lord, break the evil power of manipulation working against my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, Break the evil power of manipulation working against my home and my marriage. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh Lord, recover my home and marriage from the hands of marriage destroyers. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, recover my home and my marriage from the hands of marriage destroyers. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, recover my home and my marriage from the hands of marriage destroyers. In the name of Jesus, my father, recover my home and my marriage from the hands of marriage destroyers. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my father, recover my home and my marriage from the hands of marriage destroyers. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my father, recover my home and my marriage from the hands of marriage destroyers. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, recover my home and my marriage from the hands of marriage destroyers. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my God, recover my home and my marriage from the hands of marriage destroyers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Evil powers, an assignment to my to use my husband to scatter my home and my marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. So maybe we need to pray this one and say our instead of home because you're not the only one in that marriage. So evil powers, an assignment to use my husband if you're a woman, if you're a man, my wife, to scatter our home and our marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. That's it. Evil powers, an assignment to use my husband to scatter our home and our marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil powers, an assignment to use my husband to scatter our home and our marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil powers, an assignment to use my husband to scatter our home and our marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil powers, an assignment to use my husband to scatter our home and our marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil powers, an assignment to use my husband to scatter our home and our marriage. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we're going to pray one and you're going to pray for yourself. Evil powers, an assignment to use me. To scatter my home and my marriage. Sometimes it's not your spouse. Sometimes you, I have met so many ladies that have reached out to me that are blaming the husband for the problem and they are the problem. Some of them, they are so headstrong, you can't even tell them that they are the problem. So I just keep quiet and I just slowly back away because if I can't help you because you don't see yourself, it's pointless. The greatest thing is for you to be in life is to be self-aware. Know who you are and know what you're capable of. So when I see that, I just start to go in my little corner because I cannot tell an adult that they're wrong when they don't believe that they're wrong. So we're going to pray it. And I pray that for those that are here, everybody will take it seriously and pray this prayer. And ask God to remove those evil powers that is using you to scatter your home and your marriage. Amen? So let's pray now. Evil powers on assignment to use me. To scatter my home and my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Evil powers. An assignment to use me. To scatter my home and my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Evil powers. An assignment to use me. To scatter my home and my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Evil powers. An assignment to use me. To scatter my home and my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, evil powers, an assignment to use me to scatter my home and my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, evil powers, an assignment to use me to scatter my home and my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, evil powers, an assignment to use me to scatter my home and my marriage. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I refuse to destroy my marriage with my own hands. 
By the power in the blood of Jesus, I refuse to destroy my marriage with my own hands. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I refuse to destroy my marriage with my own hands. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to destroy my marriage with my own hands. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to destroy my marriage with my own hands. In the name of Jesus, I refuse to destroy my marriage with my own hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every evil imagination or intention of divorce and separation as signed against my home and my marriage die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil imagination or intention of divorce and separation against my home and my marriage die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil imagination or intention of divorce and separation assigned against my home and my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil imagination or intention of divorce and separation assigned against my home and my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil imagination or intention of divorce and a separation Assigned against my home and my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every evil imagination or intention of divorce and separation against my home and my marriage, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You will not break my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You will not break my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You will not break my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You will not break my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You will not break my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you now. You will not break my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You and your agents, you will not break my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You will not break my home and my marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so please, I want to encourage you right now to take the opportunity to like this video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, we'll be able to, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. All right, so we have a lot more prayers to pray. And so if you share the video and like it, other people will be able to see it, and that will also encourage me to continue praying. Amen? So it's, um, it's good to keep going and we're praying and praying, but when there's nobody there or little people there, you know, it's like an hour is good and we can wrap up. But when there's people there and they're praying, you know, one chase a thousand, two chase 10,000, you like the video, other people can see, people will join and then we can literally pray. All right. So please, I'm tired of asking to begging to like the video. Please like the video. Your benefit from the prayers, like the video. All right. So we're going to pray this one. Powers. Waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers waging war against my marriage. Die in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every evil curse placed upon my home and marriage be canceled by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every evil curse placed upon my home and my marriage be canceled by the blood of Jesus. Every evil curse placed upon my home and my marriage be canceled. In the name of Jesus, every evil curse placed upon my home and my marriage 
be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. Every curse lays upon my home and my marriage. Be cancelled by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every evil curse placed upon my home and my marriage. Be cancelled by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Now we're going to pray this one. Every household enemy on assignment to scatter my home and marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every household enemy on assignment to scatter my home and my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every household enemy on assignment to scatter my home and my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every household enemy on assignment to scatter my home and my marriage, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every satanic agent hired to scatter and destroy my home and marriage receive fire and die in the name of Jesus. Every satanic agent hired to scatter and destroy my home and my marriage receive the fire of God and die in the name of Jesus. Every satanic agent assigned to destroy and scatter my home receive the fire of god and die in jesus name we pray amen you my marriage receive the fire of god in the name of jesus you my marriage receive the fire of god in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you my marriage receive god fire Live in the name of Jesus. You, my marriage, receive the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, you, my home and my marriage, receive the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, you, my marriage, receive the fire of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The breath of God. Enter my marriage. In the name of Jesus. The breath of God, enter my marriage. In the name of Jesus, the breath of God, enter my marriage. In the name of Jesus, the breath of God, enter my marriage. In the name of Jesus, the breath of God, enter my marriage. In the name of Jesus, the breath of God, enter my marriage. In the name of Jesus, the breath of God, enter my marriage. In the name of Jesus, the breath of God, Enter my marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my home. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my home. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my home. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my home. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my marriage. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my marriage. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my marriage. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my marriage. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my marriage. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my marriage. In the name of Jesus. The resurrection power of God. Resurrect my marriage. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Oh God arise. Let the enemies of my home and marriage scatter. In the name of Jesus. Oh God arise. Let the enemies of my home and my marriage scatter. In the name of Jesus. Oh God arise. Let the enemies of my home and my marriage scatter. In the name of Jesus. Oh God arise. Let the enemies of my home and my marriage scatter. In the name of Jesus. 
Oh God, arise. Let the enemies of my home and my marriage be scattered in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Let the enemies of my home and my marriage scatter in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Let the enemies of my home and my marriage scatter in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, let your spirit of life Enter into the blood of my home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your spirit of life enter into the blood of my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Father, let your spirit of life enter into the blood of my home and my marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every home killer, every marriage killer, Every marriage destroyer in my house and my family die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every home killer, every marriage killer, every marriage destroyer in my life and in my family die in the name of Jesus. Every home killer, every marriage killer, every marriage destroyer in my house and in my family die in the name of jesus every home killer every marriage killers in my marriage and my life and my family die by fire in the name of jesus every home killer every marriage killers every marriage destroyer in my life and my family die by fire in the name of jesus every home and marriage killer Every marriage destroyers in my life and in my family die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, Restore the virtues of my stolen home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, restore the virtues of my stolen home and my marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into the brain of my husband. All right. So please don't go and tell your husband when he's provoking you. Let the Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit divine sense <laughs> enter into your brain. Don't say that. <laughs> Pray it in wisdom. And don't be saying it loud in your house if your husband is there. Because you know if the man is not strong spiritually and you say this, he will think you're picking on him. So we're going to pray. If you're a man, Holy Spirit, let divine sense enter into the brain of my wife. If you're a woman, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into the brain of my husband. All right? And if you also don't have any sense, pray it. Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into my brain. Nothing is wrong. We all need divine sense. You know, it doesn't mean that you're stupid. We all need divine sense. I need it. You need it. Everybody needs it. All right. We don't know everything. We're not all knowing and we don't, we're not all wise, you know? So sometimes we need to pray and ask for divine sense to enter into our brain. All right. So we're going to pray for ourselves and our husband. Holy spirit, let your divine sense enter into the brain of my husband in the name of Jesus. 
Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into the brain of my husband. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into the brain of my husband. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into the brain of my husband. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into the brain of my husband. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into the brain of my husband. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into the brain of my husband. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So we pray for yourself now. Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into my brain. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into my brain. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into my brain. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into my brain. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into my brain. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, let your divine sense enter into my brain. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So I want to encourage you to take this opportunity to like the video, share with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. So for those that have been praying with us since Monday, we have been doing a seven-day program. Today is day number six of the program. So tomorrow we wrap up. And um, we had to do yesterday's prayer this morning because I had a very long and interesting day. It just couldn't happen. All right. So um, I didn't rob your Friday prayer. It's there. I prayed it this morning. It's on the channel. If you miss it, go ahead and pray it. It's there. And this is Saturday's prayer. We prayed as well. Tomorrow is the final day. And we're going to pray. As we said, we're going to address the issue of the strange woman. And also come and pray the prayer. Even if there's no strange woman in your life, come and pray the prayer. You never know what the devil have up in store. So make sure you come and pray and trust that the Lord will move in your situation. Amen. All right. So also, um, please don't be just um, here to just receive. Make sure that you're a blessing to the ministry. Go to our ministry website, www.ogodarisministries.com. Right there, you see all the ways that you can give to the ministry. You can give to um, just the ministry website. You can give through Cash App. You can give through Zelle. You can give through, um, uh, what do you call that one? Vemno. All the ways to give, it's all there. If you're in Canada, e-transfer is there. You can give to the ministry. And also, we encourage you in this program that you have a seed to, or that you're praying over and sow the seed in the ministry. You know, the ministry money though goes to me. It actually goes to the things that I would do in the ministry. And your support is really needed for me to do things in the ministry. We can't go to your community to pray. We can't meet up. We can't even arrange a meeting because there's no money. All right. So we look, we want to do start things like that. We have like prayer session. Like, you know, we can rent somewhere. We have a prayer session in your area. We gather people, we go there and pray. And we want to be able to do that. And so your support will help all of those things. You know, the channel is not big. So therefore, there's no money coming from there. And we don't have any other source. So your giving is important to help the ministry go forward. And we appreciate your giving. So please ensure for this program, for seven days that we've been praying, you sow a seed. And we use that seed as a point of contact to provoke God into action over all these prayers that we are praying. Amen. All right, so we're going to get back into the prayers now. If you have a seed and you want to give it today, we're going to pray over it as well. Make sure you're praying over it. And also, if you have anointing oil, your pictures, anything that you're praying on, please make sure that you are praying on it as we're praying. All right, so please do that. We have a, a lot more prayers to pray. And then when we pray these prayers, we're going to wrap up and tomorrow we'll do our grand finale. Amen? So let's do this one right now. Powers from my husband's family on assignment to scatter my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers from my husband's family on assignment to scatter my marriage. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers from my husband's family on assignment to scatter my home. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers from my husband's family 
happy. I have seven men to gather my home. In the name of Jesus, you are not my home. In the name of Jesus, for my husband family, an assignment to scatter my home. Die in Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Every power, skin the joy, love, and peace of my home and marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power. In the joy, love, and peace of my home and marriage, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power, suck in the joy, love, and peace of my home and my marriage, die by fire in the power, suck in the joy, love, and peace of my home and my marriage, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power. Suck in the joy, love, and peace of my home and my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power and peace of my home and my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power suck in the joy, love, and peace of my home. God's name we pray. Amen. Glory of God. Oh, but shut up my home and marriage. In the name of Jesus. Glory in the name of Jesus, glory of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, glory of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, glory of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, glory of God. Overshadow my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. Glory of God. Overshadow my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. Glory of God. Overshadow my home and my marriage in the name of Jesus. Glory of God. Overshadow my home and my marriage in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. So we're going to pray this one for somebody that didn't take this prayer serious, that should be praying this prayer. Let's pray the prayer. Glory of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, glory of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, glory of God, overshadow my home. God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, glory of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus. Glory of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, glory of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Power of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, power of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, Power of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In the name of Jesus, power of God, overshadow my home and my marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So please, I know you may be saying, yes, somebody controlling your husband. What about who is controlling you? All right? So we're going to pray the prayer again for your husband and you pray for yourself. That anybody controlling you against your marriage, they will run away from you. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Amen? So let's pray this one. Every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. 
In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my life against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my life against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling my husband against my marriage, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every power controlling me against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling me against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling me against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling me against my marriage, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power controlling me against my marriage, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Evil powers reported my marriage to witchcraft covens. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, evil powers reported my marriage to witchcraft covens. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, evil powers reporting my marriage to witchcraft covens. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, evil powers reporting my marriage to witchcraft covens. You are a liar. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Evil powers reporting my husband and I to witchcraft covens. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Evil powers reporting me and my husband to witchcraft covens. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Evil powers reporting me and my husband to witchcraft covens. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Evil powers reporting me and my husband to witchcraft covens. You are a liar. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers from my husband's family attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, powers from my husband family attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, powers from my husband family attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, powers from my husband family attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, powers from my husband family attacking my marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers from my husband family attacking my marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers from my husband family attacking my marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers from my husband family attacking my marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers from my husband family attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers from my family attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers from my family attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers from my husband, from my family attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers from my family attacking my marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers from my family attacking my marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers from my family attacking my marriage. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers from my family attacking my marriage. Die by fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
flowers from my friends. Attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers from my friends and associates. Attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers from my friends and associates. Attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers from my friends and associates. Attacking my marriage. Die by fire. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Some of you need to pray that prayer. Powers from my friends. Your unfriendly friend attacking your marriage. They must die by fire. You know, some of you have friends and those are the same very friend that is destroying your marriage. Be very careful. They're not friends. They're unfriendly friends. All right. So please, I want to ask everybody right now to take the opportunity to like the video, share it with your friends, your family and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. All right. So we have some more prayers to pray. We're going to pray them and wrap up. You know, there's so much of us here. Please like the video. I'm pleading with you. Like the video. All right. Don't be selfish. You're benefiting from the prayers. I'm losing my voice. I'm still going. Like the video. At least that you can do. All right. So like the video. And share it with your friends, your family and loved ones. And also subscribe. Okay. So we're going to pray these prayers before we pray over our offerings or seeds or things that we have. And we trust God to do a new thing. So let's pray this one. Every power. Working day and night to make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power working day and night to make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every power working day and night to make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power working day and night to make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power working day and night to make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power working day and night to make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every power. Working day and night. To make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Every unfriendly friend. Every wicked human being. Working day and night. To make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every unfriendly friend. Every wicked human being. Working day and night. To make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every unfriendly friend. Every wicked human being. Working day and night. To make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Every power. Every wicked human being. Working day and night. Not to, to make my marriage not to be unstable. You are a, to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power working day and night to make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise in your mercy and expose everyone that is hiding behind the problems of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise in your mercy and expose everyone that is hiding behind the problems of my marriage. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and expose everyone that is hiding behind the problems of my marriage. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Whoever is that has vowed to scatter my marriage. Oh God, arise and expose them. In the name of Jesus, whoever that has vowed to scatter my marriage, oh God, arise and expose them. In the name of Jesus, 
whoever that has vowed to scatter my marriage, my father arise and expose them now in the name of Jesus. Whoever that has vowed to scatter my marriage, my God arise and expose them now in the name of Jesus. Whoever that has vowed to scatter my marriage, oh God arise and expose them now in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Unfriendly friend that likes to see me unhappy, arise and destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Unfriendly friend that likes to see me unhappy, arise and destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Unfriendly friends that like to see me unhappy, arise and destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Unfriendly friend that like to see me unhappy, arise and destroy yourself in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, so um, those prayers that we pray about friends, friends, and friendly friends, those prayers come straight from the Holy Spirit. That is for somebody there. You need to go on the channel. There's a prayer on the channel that talks about unfriendly friend. Go and pray that prayer, you know, because for the past couple of minutes, that's all the Holy Spirit is telling me, pray against this unfriendly friend. So some of us need to really be careful who we have in our life and call friends. They're not friends. They're unfriendly friend. They're unfriendly friend. They're your enemies. Amen? For enemies. All right, so we're going to continue our prayers now. Please go on the channel. You know yourself. If you don't, God will reveal it to you. We have prayed some prayers. I think we have done enough there. And so if, if you feel or you think that it's you, or if you have a revelation, it's you, there is a prayer on the channel that talks about unfriendly friends. and give you ways as how you can pray um, to deal with these unfriendly friends. Amen? So please, I want to encourage everybody to take the opportunity to like the video, share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. And also hit the notification bell so that whenever we go live, you'll be able to see us and join us as we pray. Amen. So we're going to continue these prayers that we're praying. And as we continue, we trust the Lord that he will do a new thing in our life. We pray that the marriage destroyers that is troubling our life, their time will come to an end. Their time will be up by the power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. All right, so we're going to pray these prayers now. We're going to pray these prayers. Every power working day and night to make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every power working day and night to make my marriage not to be stable. You are a liar. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Satanic mirrors monitoring my marriage. Break and scatter by thunder. In the name of Jesus, Satanic mirrors monitoring my marriage. Break and scatter by thunder. In the name of Jesus, Satanic mirrors monitoring my marriage. Break and scatter by thunder. In the name of Jesus, Satanic mirrors monitoring my marriage. Break and scatter by thunder in the name of Jesus. Satanic mirrors monitoring my marriage. Break and scatter by thunder in the name of Jesus. Satanic mirrors monitoring my marriage. Break and scatter by thunder in the name of Jesus. Satanic mirrors monitoring my marriage. Break and scatter by thunder in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every mother-in-law, every father-in-law behind my marriage problems, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every mother-in-law, every father-in-law behind my marriage problems, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every mother-in-law, every father-in-law behind my marriage problems, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every mother-in-law, every father-in-law behind my marriage problems, die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every in-law behind my marriage problems, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, every in-law behind my marriage problems, die by fire. In the name of Jesus, 
every in-law behind my marriage problems die by fire in the name of jesus every in-law behind my marriage problems die by fire in the name of jesus every in-law behind my marriage problems die by fire in the name of jesus every in-law behind my marriage problems die by fire in jesus name we pray amen every sibling from my husband family Trouble in my home and my marriage in witchcraft coven. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every sibling. Let's put it like this. Every sibling from my family, my husband's family. All right, let's do it like that. So some of you have wicked siblings. You know that. So let's do it like that. Every sibling from my family and my husband's family. Trouble in our home and our marriage in witchcraft covens. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every sibling from my family and my husband's family troubling our home and our marriage in witchcraft coven. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every sibling from my husband's family and my family troubling my home and my marriage in witchcraft coven. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every sibling from my husband's family and from my family troubling our home and our marriage die by fire in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Every unfriendly friend on mission to scatter my home and marriage, you are a liar. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every unfriendly friends on a mission to scatter my home and my marriage. You are a liar. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Every unfriendly friend on a mission to scatter my home and my marriage. You are a liar. Die by fire in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers that tied down my marriage. Holy Spirit. Loose my marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers that tied on my marriage. Holy Spirit. Loose my marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers that tied on my marriage. Holy Spirit. Loose my marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers that tie my marriage. Holy Spirit. Loose my marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus. Powers that tied on my marriage. Holy Spirit of God, loose my marriage by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers that tied on my marriage. Holy Spirit, loose my marriage by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers that have tied on my marriage. Holy Spirit, loose my marriage in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yahweh Kodesh. Repair the damage, my repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, my father, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my father, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my God, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord, my God, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, my father, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, oh God, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, my father, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, oh God, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In the name of Jesus, my father, repair my damaged marriage by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Let's pray this one. This is the last one. My throat is going. Marriage destroyers. Your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. Marriage destroyers. Your time is up. Die by fire. 
In the name of Jesus, marriage destroyers, your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, marriage destroyers, your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, marriage destroyers, your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, marriage destroyers, your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, marriage destroyers, your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, marriage destroyers, your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, marriage destroyers, your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, marriage destroyers, your time is up. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, marriage destroyers, your time is up. Die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's just take the opportunity right now. Grab out your prayer requests, your seeds, your offering, all those things. We're going to pray over them. Let's grab them out. And as you grab them out, also um, just get ready. We're going to pray. Grab out your prayer requests, your prayers, whatever you have. Just grab them out. We're going to pray. Let's just begin to thank God. Let's just magnify his name. He is worthy to be praised. He is the ancient of days. He's great. He's wonderful. He's all powerful. He's all sufficient. He's a mighty man in battle. Lord, we praise your name. And we say, be thou exalted, O God. We give you all the glory, God, because you are faithful. You are just God. You are the Alpha and Omega. Yahweh Kadesh, the Holy One, sacred God. We come before your presence, Jesus Christ. And we say, thank you. Our marriage destroyers will not prevail in our marriage. We say, thank you. For you have the final say over our homes in the name of Jesus. We say thank you because great are you God and greatly to be praised in the name of Jesus. We say thank you because you are a faithful God. We say thank you because you are righteous God. We say thank you for you are our redeemer. Thank you for you are our defender. Thank you for you are our shield, the glory and the lifter of our heads in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise your name and we say, let your name be exalted, O God, in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise by the power in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for breakthroughs. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders in the name of Jesus. Lord, we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise because you are a faithful God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, King of kings and Lord of lords, because you are mighty. Thank you for you are our deliverer. Thank you for you are our restorer. Thank you, O oh God, for you are mighty. You are worthy to be praised. We praise your name, almighty God. We praise your name, ancient of days. And we say thank you for every prayer that you have answered today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, O oh God, that even when the enemy tried to rise up against us, Lord, my God, they will never be able to rise. They will never be able to stand. They will never succeed in the name of Jesus. No weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. No weapon that is formed against this ministry will prosper in the name of Jesus. Father, we cry out to you today and we trust you and we say thank you because you have done it, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, to you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. We worship you, almighty God. Take all the glory, the honor, and the praise as we worship you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right. So now I want you to grab those stuff up. We're going to pray over them. And then we can go. We're going to pray over them. And then we go. So let's grab them out. Let's use the word of God. Father, we come before you and we stand on your word in Psalms 20. Father, you said in your word that you will, read. You will hear us in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend us. Lord, you send us help from your sanctuary and you strengthen us out of Zion. Father, remember all of our offerings and accept our burnt sacrifice. Grant us the desires of our hearts, Lord, and fulfill all our petitions, all our prayer requests. Father, we will rejoice when you have done it, Lord. We will rejoice, oh God, because you are faithful. We will rejoice because, God, you will never leave us nor forsake us in the name of Jesus. Mighty God, we come before your throne and we say thank you. Thou art worthy. We say thank you for you are mighty. We say thank you for you are excellent. Thank you for you are the hope of glory. Thank you for you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Thank you for you are our defender. Thank you for you are our protector. Thank you for you are our shield, the glory and the lifter of our heads. We praise you, El Shaddai. And we say, be thou magnified in the name of Jesus. 
We praise you, Elohim, and we say, let your name be glorified. Lord, we thank you, O oh God, for all these prayer requests. Lord, that I've written down, that is typed up, that is in the hearts of your children. Father, by your mercy, answer all of our prayer requests in the name of Jesus. Father, some are trusting you for one thing or the other. Lord, by your mercy, O oh God, attend to them one by one. Release your war angels to go out in battle for them now and fight on their behalf in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray for marriages today and we tell the marriage destroyers that their time is up. Father, today, show your children a sign for good that, Lord, the marriage destroyer that has been troubling their marriage, their time is up in the name of Jesus. Father, give them that hope. Give them that assurance. Give them that physical manifestation of your raw power in the name of Jesus. Almighty God, we ask you right now that, Lord God, you will look right now, even at our anointing oil. And Father, we ask you to bless it and sanctify it in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that you set this oil apart, this holy anointing oil, set it apart, Lord Jesus. And Lord, mighty Father, as we use it, oh God, help us, oh God. Lord, might help the oil to be holy, the oil, holy anointing oil. And Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that anything they use it on, let it glorify your name. Let miracles, signs, and wonder begin to flow when they use it and cry unto your name, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, you said even in your word that, Lord, mighty Father, over the seed, you will remember it. Father, see your children. They're giving what they have, Lord. They're giving it as a seed over all these prayers that we've been praying. Father, as they give, remember their offering according to your word, O God. And Father, Lord, I pray that as you remember, Lord God, I pray that, Lord, their offering will provoke you in action to work on their behalf, Lord, to favor them in the name of Jesus. Father, we just want to say thank you for you have done it. Lord, precious God, to you deserve the glory, the honor, and the praise. Thank you for your revelation power. Take all the glory, the honor, and the praise as we say thank you, Lord. We bless your name, God, because you have done it, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, so um, that's it for today's prayers. You can turn over to your confession. We already looked at it earlier. But our confession is Joshua chapter 23, verse 14. And it's also an assurance because it says, Behold, this day I'm going the way of all the earth. And you know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing has failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you. All have come to pass for you. Not one word of them has failed. Amen. That's the word of God. That's the promise of God. We thank God for that. We thank God for he is a faithful God. He is mighty and he is just. Amen. And so before you go, I want to encourage you to make sure you like the video. Share it with your friends, your family, and loved ones. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. These are very good prayers. And you should make sure you have that on your like list. So this is the prayer you go to to pray. So please like it. And also, please go to our ministry website and sow into the ministry. The website is www.ogadariseministries.com. All the ways to give is there. And as you give, we pray also over your offering and pray that the Lord will bless you to the glory of his name. So God bless you. We will see you tomorrow um, in the evening hours. And um, I hope you get ready to pray for that final day. And we trust that the Lord will show up for you. Invite your friends. Invite everyone you know. And... I hope to see you there. God bless you and you do have